If you ever wondered if there's such a thing as a green list base, yes there is. It's the Chavel Promod Sandimas in lime green. Let's check it out. Hi everyone, Gregor Fries here and today I'm accompanied by René Flexenhaar on bass and check this out, new bass the world hoodies. If you want one, check the links in the video description below. When I first saw pictures of this bass online, I thought it looks spectacular. I mean, I love green basses, but this lime green metallic flaky kind of lime green green just looks amazing. And yeah, this is basically a hot rotted P bass. Uh, we have PJ pickups, we have an Ecto 3 one DQ, a solid bridge and a super slim neck. The basic recipe is pretty standard. We have an alder body, we have a maple neck, we have a 34 inch scale. But Chavel added some pretty cool, let's say, improvements. First of all, of course, the roasted maple neck, which just looks and feels amazing. Um, I, the way they finished this up, I just, I want all necks to feel like this. It's, it's really, really good. And again, it's incredibly slim. I just, I can't believe how they fitted even a truss rod and carbon reinforcements in there. I mean, they're in there, but I, it's, it's really not much wood. But again, it feels amazing. It plays super fast. Cool neck. The Craft Tech nut is 38 millimeters, which is of course a jazz bass measure. And this is of course the secret why this neck feels so amazing. It's just a jazz bass neck. But there's a one more cool thing, and this is a compound radius. Um, here we have a 12 inch radius for the frets. Up here a 16 inch radius. That means here it's a, it's a little bit more round. And up the neck, it gets more flat, which just feels better when you want to play chords and these sort of things. This is one of the most comfortable necks I've ever touched. And I think, yes, this is one of the main selling points of this bass. The pickups in here come from Dimasio. We have a Model J and a Model P built in, and we have an active three band EQ. The controls are volume, pickup plant, basses, mids, and treble. I've seen a bunch of comments online complaining about this electronic, and I don't entirely understand why, to be honest. Is it the best, most inspiring preamp in any bass ever? No, it's not, but does it do its job? Yes, definitely. And I think actually this preamp does a lot of heavy lifting for this bass. Um, once you switch it off, I mean, you can switch the space to passive. It just sounds completely different. And I think a lot of the parts that we like about the sound of the space is actually the electronics. So you might want to leave it in. The solid bridge is also super easy to set up. And yeah, I mean, I just, I kind of like everything I'm looking at here. Very well done, Charvel. I like the space. So uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, could be a tiny bit lighter, I have to say. It's not, it's not a heavy bass, but it could be a tiny little bit lighter. But uh, that's probably the only complaint I have. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Charvel, for sending this base over. Uh, I liked it a lot. And uh, otherwise, buy our merch, like this video, subscribe to this channel. What else could I say? Hug your mom. And uh, see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>